What's up guys? Quick trade review here on a trade I had today in Facebook. So just gonna break this down real quick. Simple support play here today, guys. Had our closing bar here yesterday, which actually broke some short-term support levels. So when I saw this morning that Facebook was actually set to open even lower, I came here to the daily chart before the open and tried to identify, you know, any areas where we may have some support. And Again, no huge levels of support here, guys, but I did notice that this range right here had seen this bounce and had seen some big accumulation in that same range. So it seemed like an area that, you know, big funds had some interest in Facebook. So with that in mind, I drew that line there this morning, guys, and at the open. Now, this is something you got to keep in mind with these support plays. They can take place very quick. So immediately at the open today, guys, as you can see, Facebook traded down to that support level and immediately bounced. So there really wasn't too much time to get an entry and it did pull back towards support and then pop back up again. But these are quick trades and you gotta, you know, you gotta be prepared. But again, nice and simple guys, it bounced off of that support, you know, and as it was hovering around there, as I've been doing lately, I took my position as close to support as possible. And of course the exit would have been on a true break of that support. You know, not a little dip and pop back above, but a true break of support is my exit strategy. But it turned out to be a winning trade. So I bought the March 23rd 165 calls and I bought them at 415 per contract and I sold them just under an hour later at 515 per contract, guys. So entry here and exit probably somewhere. All right, I think doesn't want to cooperate. Entry right here at support, guys, and exit probably somewhere in, you know, the mid-range of that bar. And it was a 25% return for just about $500, and again, less than an hour. I think something very important with these trades, guys, is just, you know, what are you looking for here? You know, I wasn't expecting Facebook to start um, to hit support and begin a new, you know, trend to the upside. But... What we did have here was a play where there's a clear point where the stock has a likelihood to bounce to some extent. If we can get our entry as close to that level as possible, you know, in situation A, it breaks that support, we exit immediately, and it's a pretty tiny loss. Or you do get that very predictable bounce. And you don't need to catch it all, guys. Again, the more consistent you can be with these, the higher frequency you can catch these with and just simply book those profits and move on, you know, the much better you're going to be. So again, bounced here today, guys. I caught the bottom. Did I catch the top? No, but that's not important. You know, get your peace. We can be patient and hold on in the environments that call for it. You know, this was not a situation that called for trying to hold it all day and see what could happen. We had the, you know, we had the likelihood of a bounce happening. When that happened, you need to get in, take your peace. You know, from here to there, guys, you got to get some peace and then get the hell out. And as your account grows and the more proficient you can become, the more size you can do that with. You know, so with $1,000 today, guys, this would have been a $250 return. That's pretty damn good if you ask me. My goal is to get to the point where I can identify these 10 k to work. And in today's case, I would have made 2500 in less than an hour. But you got to have that willingness to A, if it breaks support, you're out. You're not hanging around to see if it comes back. And B... Once you get that bounce, guys, take your piece. Now, something very helpful in terms of, you know, how long do I hold on for is what's going on in the market. And as you can see, there really wasn't shit going on today in the SPY and more importantly for this Facebook trade in the queues. Here's today's two bars. Nothing, you know, a little bit of volume, but nothing big going on. So, again, have your Facebook chart open, have your queues open and your SPY and you'll get the feel that, hey, I got this bounce here. Let me take my piece and call it a day. You guys got to look at it for what it is. You know, the $500 profit on this trade for me, if I were to make $500 doing something else, like a minimum wage job, that's 50 plus hours, guys. And I was able to accomplish that in less than an hour. And that's the beauty of trading. I then moved on with my day. So simple support plays, guys. The real beauty of them is that you can identify them ahead of time. And by the time the ringing bell opens, or the opening bell rings, rather, you are ready to act. So continue to look for these and I'm gonna to continue to send you guys these trade reviews as they go.